Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of a Philippine-inspired city I call Isla Ibatan. This episode is 14.5. Episode 14 was the full cinematic of this build. So if you haven't seen that one, you can click that link that will pop up on the upper right corner. So several weeks ago was the release of Sunset Harbor DLC and I was pretty excited about the fishing industry feature. So everyone knows when there's a new DLC or a new update comes out, the mods are needed to be updated as well and it takes several days for the modders to do that. So while the game was broken, I took some time to create some assets and one of them is this shanty fishing dock. I've also updated the outrigger boats which were used to be ferries and now they are actually fishing boats. Creating this asset took me longer than expected because it's actually pretty challenging to make it look realistic enough but still function. The challenge for this one is plopping it on water but not have the flooding notification because if the building is flooded then it will not operate normally. What I'm doing now is I'm just adjusting the elevation of the building that way the docks are just in the right height from the water and you know we want to make it as realistic as possible and we want the fishermen to be able to reach the ladder to go up the docks and then of course once the water is settled we need to make a road connection to the building i'm using this muddy dirt road by strict toaster he used this one in his sinew series if you haven't seen that one make sure you check that out sinew was actually my favorite series that strict toaster has done and my next favorite one was the arrowhead junction that's the one that he did the collaboration with flux trends and fresh popcorn speaking of fresh popcorn he's actually back i know there was a drama about the arrowhead junction uh, i don't really know the exact story but you probably know after two years of laying low he started this vlog about two weeks ago uh, he started building his uh, computer back up so he might start playing CD Skylines again and I'm, I'm pretty excited about that he's one of the best out there what I'm doing now is I'm using this terraforming network by Ronix69 to adjust the elevation of the terrain that way I won't get this the building is under the water notification and once that is gone I could start laying down the fishing route then we can have some tuna or salmon then I'm trying to find a way to hide this imperfection in the terrain because it looks unnatural and jaggy so I'm using this coastal rocks by Ronix69 and this one is by Zardis I actually ended up deleting most of these rocks because as the build went on the rocks were just covered by houses and we don't want to waste some necessary CPU resources and reach the prop limit. Speaking of which, some of you were asking for my PC specs. Right now I'm using Intel Core i7 4790K. Man, that was a mouthful. It's about five years old. Some of you may say it's time to upgrade, but that would mean I need to upgrade the motherboard and my RAM sticks due to compatibility issues. And that could take a big chunk of money out of my wallet, you know. So this rig will do for now. Then for my GPU, I'm using RTX 2070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM uh, from MSI. When I started this series about six months ago, I was using uh, GTX 1050 Ti. Then I was having some performance issues right around episode six and seven there was some obvious stuttering in the video. You could clearly see the difference when I upgraded to RTX in episode 8. Now I am getting average of 20 FPS depending on what part of the city I'm looking at. After I finished this fishing dock I was getting an average of 15 FPS because I put so much detail to this area. But it was all worth it and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Then I'm using Corsair LPX for my RAM. I am using four 8GB sticks so I have total of 32GB. Because as you may know by now I am a prop addict. 
I need lots of memory to suffice my needs. Right now I'm reaching my RAM limit because of all the assets and mods that I downloaded from the workshop. I may need to upgrade soon, but like I said before, there will be some hardware compatibility issues. The motherboard I'm using right now only takes 32 gigabytes max, so I would need to win the lottery or sell both of my kidneys to upgrade this CPU. Maybe just one kidney because I still need one. Just kidding. Or one of you could probably donate some to me. Not the kidneys, but the hardware. Maybe you have some hardware laying around and you can give it to me because I need it. And I need it now. What I'm doing right now is I'm laying down some elevated pedestrian path. Then I will convert them to invisible paths later so that you can see people walking around these network of wooden bridges. I am adjusting the height of the pedestrian path so it would be in the same level as the wooden bridges. That way you wouldn't see a bunch of pedestrians floating around. So I'm gonna talk about the inspiration behind this build. Because you know I like telling stories and I like history and I'd like to put some history and life into this city of Isla Ibatan. So I'd like to talk about the Bajau people. The Bajau are sea dwelling tribe, often known as the sea nomads. They have been floating off the shores of Southeast Asia for centuries, from Philippines to uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. These people live on stilt houses and floating boat houses in the middle of the ocean. The only time they go to land is when they need to resupply with drinking water and food, and also when they need to bury their dead. Most of the time when they have a dying person, usually the elders, they leave them in an isolated island and they leave them there to die. It's a totally different and ancient culture in Southeast Asia. Their main resource is the ocean itself. They learn how to dive and hunt for food underwater as young as 5 years old. Most of them can hold their breath for more than 5 minutes at a time and catch fish with using just a spear or even with bare hands. They catch so much and usually they have lots of leftovers. So what they do is they sun dry the sea animals they caught. In Tagalog we call it daing or bilad in some dialects. And in English it's jerky. And then they sell them to fish markets on land. Because of the rise of pirates in Southeast Asia over the years, more and more Bajau people have been lured away from the ocean, migrating to a life on land. As they belong to no official state and possess no official nationality, they find the move from sea to land a challenge. Because of their nomadic lifestyle, the Bajau are at a disadvantage with no schooling, healthcare, or access to government-provided social services. In the process of adapting to a land-based life, their unique skills in free diving along with their in-depth knowledge and understanding of the ocean becomes much less relevant. The younger generations have forgotten their ability to dive to the bottom of the ocean and hunt for food. Many Bajau communities on land live in squalid settlements just like this one. Some Bajau, however, have managed to maintain a seafaring life and preserve their traditions in the solitude and liberty of living freely and independently on the sea, away from the rules and restrictions that bind those who live on land. So what I'm doing right now is I'm plopping down these shanty houses and shacks by Beard Monkey and Creepy Eyes. I've converted them into procedural objects because you could not plop buildings on water. I'm going to continue to detail this area while you can listen to some great music. And make sure to stick around all the way to the end uh, for some epic cinematics. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this build.
guys we've reached the end of this build i hope that you've enjoyed this video and i hope that you've learned something new please comment down below your feedbacks are very important to me that way i could make better videos in the future and if you have any suggestions for what i need to do in the future episodes just let me know in the comment i appreciate you sticking around and if you haven't don't forget to subscribe otherwise mabuhay and see you next time